everyone and welcome to Planet Clipcam. Welcome to the next episode of Missouri Gardens. In today's episode I am building a aircraft hangar and I am also building a runway to go along with the flat ride. So I'm so excited to show you what I built in my time lapses and in my real time explorations of this park. So if you're new to the channel, please subscribe if you do like the video and obviously a like would really help me out. So through this video, you're going to see lots of time lapses, uh, certainly for the first half, if not more of the video. And uh, you are seeing at the moment we are building an aircraft hangar. So we're using lots of the different uh, modern wood pieces along with the beams. This formed a really nice basis to build on so we could get that custom roof on and really theme it up and trim it with all of the different wood pieces that I wanted to use. So this little building is certainly inspired by the wonderful Geekism. You should definitely check out his channel. Geekism built a stunning little hangar as an exit to his wooden coaster which Silverette built and I really wanted to get something as an exit to my bobsled coaster which was built in a previous episode of this series and I really would like to theme it um, just with the kind of photo booths that you get after a roller coaster and also maybe fast passes for the ride before you hop on. So let's focus on what I'm doing in this time lapse then. As you can see, I have built in the windows, just uses the nice reflective glass pieces there. And now I'm adding a roof onto the top of the structure. So we've used these nice curved pieces, which are meant to be used for the Planet Coaster kind of style of blueprints. Really nice kind of building pieces. I don't get to use them too often as I usually do the kind of conventional kind of roofs but these are really nice to use in a hangar kind of sense. So now you can see we're adding these corrugated roof panels. These were surprisingly difficult to use due to them being so flat and not very small like I usually use with uh, custom roofing. But I got there in the end and I had to straighten it up, group it all as scenery and then extend it over down to the roof. And then obviously I've had to trim it all through with the beams, different types of woods, different colours, uh, just making it look less messy so I cover up all of the rough edges. Uh, certainly duplicating what I've already built to make it nice and symmetrical definitely helps. I've had to add a midway kind of point just to cover up where the split section of the corrugated roof joined. So there's a look at the custom roof that's done. And then obviously I have these little uh, gaps to the side of the roof, which I didn't uh, foresee when I was building the roof. So I've just added these curved pieces in, not too much clipping, so I'm not too worried about how they look there. Doing the same on the other side. And then it is time to build the air traffic control kind of tower of this build. So Geekism used a a piece just like this to get a nice and slim tower going up so I copied his idea there I really liked that use of the pieces uh, using a different wood style here wanted it to be a bit more rustic for this piece so here you go then now you can see this piece uh, worked really well nice and slim tower and uh, when you sink it into the roof you can't see it too much uh, from below where the guests would be so it's just all around works really nicely so for this tower, obviously I've had to theme it up really, really well because I had to consider that the flat ride may be hitting into it with all of the rotating planes. It was quite hard to do because the planes moved so unpredictably, so it was really a tough job to nail down and get correct. Uh, on top of the uh, little glass structure, I really tried to theme it out nicely with some uh, more glass windows as I tried to think of the planet coaster scale and how small the people would actually be working in the tower and certainly I don't think the first uh, row of windows that I put down would be tall enough for them to stand in so I added another platform just after I add the beams which just make it look a bit more obscure and rounded as a tower
So I put on some railings, just thinking of some safety. And then I also add on to the top of the structure a small windsock um, just out of the basic shapes. And I've alternately coloured them just so they look really nice and attached them just with the pole pieces and some of the projector billboard pieces also. So that rounds off the uh, control tower. I definitely don't think it will be the last control tower that I build in this area, certainly with all of the plane theming. I'm sure maybe one of the Rydock uh, stations will be themed as a controlling tower. So now we move on to the next part of the video where I'm building a runway. So I'm lucky enough to have members of my family who work in the RAF. So I got some tips and tricks from them. I have used lots of art shapes, basic art shapes, just to make this runway, uh, flipping them around and using the edges of the rectangles and squares uh, just to nicely add some detail to this runway. I've used the building roof pieces to make the bulk of the ground, uh, theming that black with the runway and then some dark khaki kind of green for the rest of that area. I didn't want it all to be really bright grass as it would mean I'd have to add loads of foliage which might ruin the sight lines. So I've just done that. And I've also wanted to light this perfectly just like it would be in real life. So you'll see some of that in a minute. So as you can see, I have had so much to say that we are already in the real time section of the video. So let's have a look at it all then. So this hanger looks really good. I've added a sign with custom fonts. Uh, I got the bit where it says hanger, that's off the workshop really nice large lettering there and then I've done the the bit myself uh, so nice front to that building a nice passageway to the entrance of the park really I need to really think about how uh, throughput works here and I've just added some walls just to make it look a bit more realistic and how it will be themed up in future episodes so round through this path, there's certainly going to be things like photo booths for the guests that get off the ride. Maybe guest services might even come as part of that pathway. And then you head through here. This is all after the ride, obviously. I think in this area here, I've just marked out an area where I may add a plane wreckage or some kind of scenery for the guests to walk by. So going around here then, through the back of this room, and you can see that I have added this seating area here. So this looks at the bobsled coaster which we built in a previous episode, and I have coloured part of the track black so it looks like it's going down onto the runway. So I thought this was a really nice touch, so it looks like it's going, uh, landing and taking off again quickly. And I think when I, yes here we go, when I recorded it, get a nice shot of the cart going past there. So a nice seating area to maybe watch your family going past on the little ride there. So then I've added some more foliage through here, just the starting of the foliage, haven't added too much. And then some wreckage around this flat ride. Here's a really nice look at the finished runway uh, with the planes passing over, over the bobsled coaster, over the hangar, looking really, really nice. I've started to sort out some of the pathing here, as we'll see in a little while. So this runway heads through all the way under some of the supports. I've added all of the correct numbers on here and uh, all the lights. Some of it was difficult because terrain was playing up for me, but I managed to work it out in the end. So I've sunk these platforms, uh, these building pieces under the flat ride just to skin it a little bit and yeah it does look really really nice as it flies over there so let's go into nighttime then and let's have a look at the nighttime lighting now maybe you can leave down in the comments below if you like how bright these lights are I wasn't too sure if I wanted to have two bright lights the little spotlights that I placed down weren't actually bright enough for my liking so I sunk down some other lighting down into the ground 
to add some ambient lighting there. So I'm going to leave you with this little video here uh, of the planes taking off. This is the end of the video. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please don't forget to like it and subscribe if you are new to the channel. I really do appreciate it. And if you have any comments, I will reply to them all down below. Thank you very much. And I will see you next time, most likely for an episode of My Viking Park. See you later.